Now we're working on the lining for the carry-all bag and of course the lining is really going to be a mirror of what was completed from the outside so it's going to be very quick and easy to sew. I've got the side panel and we're just going to make one long slip pocket so exactly the same as before stitch, turn, top stitch and then just baste this in place along the sides and the bottom. I'll carry that out now and show you how it looks. So my side pocket is now basted in place and all I need to do is decide whether I want to split that up into individual pockets. So if you want to just one pocket leave it as it is but it probably would be a bit floppy so I'm going to create three pockets on the inside the same as the outside. I'll just start stitching here down to the bottom, here, down to the bottom. But the pocket's going to come at a bit of stress at the top, so do make sure that you go backwards and forwards a few times at the top of the pocket, just to make sure your stitching is secure. And then that will be this first side completed. The other inside pocket on the carry-all um, carry bag is an optional zipper pocket. So I think the secret to making a, a good internal zipper pocket is to give yourself plenty of space to work with. So I've got an oversized zip, got a nice long piece of fabric for my pocket and I'm going to start from there. So first of all decide where you want your pocket to, co to come and I've put the piece of fabric in place about where I want my pocket and on the fabric I've left a gap of an inch and a half up at the top and drawn a line six inches long. So my zipper is longer than that to give me some place to work but six inches will be how long the, the gap is going to be for the pocket. Then measure again half an inch down, draw another line and make a rectangle by just joining up with two half inches there at the corners. So you'll end up with a long thin rectangle and it's, it's drawn on your lining fabric so you can move it around until you're happy with where that's going to be on the inside of your bag and then just pin this piece of fabric in place. Then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'll reduce my stitch length a little. I normally use a 2.5 so I'm just going to make it a 2 and through both of these layers of fabric I'm going to exactly stitch a line all the way around this rectangle. So I'll do that first and then we'll look at the next step. So my rectangle is now sewn in place and now we need to make a cut through the centre. So I'm just going to start off with my seam ripper in the centre there and make a hole just enough so that I can get my scissors through and then I'm going to snip with my scissors through the centre of that rectangle but I'm going to stop a little bit short of the ends just here and then snip into the corners and I want to snip as close as I can into that corner where the stitching is but obviously not into or through the stitching itself otherwise it will it will break. I'll do that for this other corner and then if I turn around repeat the same up at this end Okay, so the rectangle's cut. Now all we need to do is post the lining fabric through the rectangle and it will come out the other side. Now as hard as you try, you are never going to get this perfect on the inside, but do your best to make a nice finish. So you will press now around your rectangle, so turn it all out nicely. These corners are always going to be puckered, there's nothing you can do about those. But I'll take this over to my ironing board now and I'm just going to press this rectangle out as neat as I can. Now the side of my bag has got quite a thick interfacing on so again that's going to interfere with me getting a nice smooth edge but I'll do the best I can at the pressing board and then come back and take a look. So my letterbox is now completed, looks nice and neat from the front. Not too bad, just a little bit puckered around the corners on the reverse there. Now it's time to add in the zip. Now you can pin the zip, you could just pop it evenly over the opening like this and pin in place, but I find it's going to make it far too puckered and you won't get a nice result. So I like to use this Wonder Tape. It's just a, a double-sided sewing adhesive and you can sew through it without gumming up your needle. 
So I'm just going to take a couple of pieces and I'm going to put them right on the edge of the zipper tape. Like this. Same on the other side. take off this backing paper. I've now got a nice sticky area there. That's going to help me hold my zip in place without using pins. So now I just need to line up the zip with this hole and try and get it even. Check it from the front. Oh, that's not bad at all for my first attempt. Press down into that wonder tape. Okay, so that's looking good. So now the zip is held there nice and securely with the tape and I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and just run a top stitch all the way along the edge of this rectangle. Now when I get to this end of course which has the zipper pull I'm going to make sure that I just pull the zipper pull inside here otherwise if I sew round then I won't be able to use the zipper so that won't be any good but I'll just do that at the last step and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So that's it done from the front. Zipper now in place, top stitched all around and looking good. And now we need to go to the back and take our other pocket lining piece. And we'll just match it up, pin in place. So once you have everything pinned in place around these four sides, it's now a very simple matter to complete the pocket. You just need to sew these two layers only. So it's easy here at the bottom, but when you get to the sides, you'll need to just fold the fabric accordingly so that you can sew this part and leave the main lining of the bag out of the way. Same at the top and the other side. And this is why it helps to give yourself plenty of space to work with by using a long zipper and a, a piece of fabric that's you know at least an inch and a half bigger around the outsides then we've helped ourselves make that easy. So once everything around here is completed your internal zipper pocket will all be ready to use.